what is up family it is ace today we will be finishing up the lake of rot thank you for joining me and let's just get into it all right to start we are going to jump over here okay so we really aren't going to be fighting anything here that's why i took off my um weapon um you can use use the boluses or flame cleanse me here um it all depends where i am what i'm gonna use because you got a bunch of basilisks around here so you want your torch out but while there's no basilisks i'm just gonna use flame cleanse me but as you'll see here in a second um i'm gonna have to use boluses because we got basilisks that and we're just gonna keep running I probably have more bullets than I need but it does not hurt to have it's better to have more than not have enough Am I missing anything? No, I'm not. There's the boss. We'll fight him towards the end. We'll make it. Gotcha. Raise the boss arenas up. Now we're going to want to start using the boluses, I believe. Actually, we can do this one more time. But we are about to get the mushroom crown, which if you poison or rot someone, it increases your attack power. But also, it also increases your immunity. So, if you don't think we had enough immunity, we are getting even more. Which, even though that bar is huge, you see how much we're having to cleanse the rot, cleanse the stench off of us. So, I don't know why I find this jump to be so hard. I wonder if I can just walk off. That is freaking amazing. Okay, back to the grace. Did I put the... Uh, no. So now we're at Alrighty, we're just going to keep running. Just grabbing all the loot. 
making sure I'm not missing anything because I'm kind of going through this fast. Just kind of running through memory with it instead of looking at the notes. But I think we're not missing anything. Go, raise this up. Can hit this real quick. Here in a second, I'll need my weapon again, but for the time being, we'll be okay. I feel like there's something I missed. Oh well. If I missed it, it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, attack power. Because <laughs> I got rotted. Oh, I thought I used one. Guess not. Okay. So now we want to put a weapon back on. Because we are going to have to fight somebody. Um, something funny I'll share with you guys after this fight. Alright, let's hope he just comes to me. Let's see who wins this. There we go. Grab the Alabaster Lord Sword. Alright, so... My last playthrough, I killed him. Did this exact same thing. But now I start running over here, right? And I see a health bar right down there. And it's just going down and down. It, it took a good 30 seconds, but it kept going down and down. Next thing I know, I get a lump sum of ruins. And I also get a golden seed. Somehow, the seed beast down there, the ulcerated tree spirit, I think that's what they're really called, but I call them seed beasts because they drop you golden seeds. He died somehow. I got I got it all on recording if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. Um, but he just died on me. I don't I don't know what happened, but I'm not complaining. But it was just it was kind of weird. Oh, I missed. Die. Okay, let's keep it running. Alrighty, so instead of running all the way uh, in, in the rot, we're going to drop down here. This just saves us from having to use boluses or flame cleanse me. Saves you for a little bit. So first, we are going to grab this grace so we can teleport back once we kill the boss. Man, we got a stell coming up here very shortly. That's wild. We're almost through Ronnie's whole quest line. Okay, so we're gonna rest here. Okay. Go back up. Grab me an extra bolus, even though <laughs> not needed, but welcomed. Don't know what those do, but I'm going to pick them up because they're there. Okay. So we're going to grab this. Cookbook. Oop. Wrong one, wrong grace. Alright. So now we just gotta kill the boss, and then we will go to the other area, grab a dagger, fight Estelle, which Estelle is... I, I like the Estelle boss fight. I, I really enjoy it, because it's, it's difficult, but not overly difficult. So... I think it's a fun boss fight. So we're just going to keep on going. Eat one. So once we get closer, that's when we're going to switch back to our armor and all that. Even though this guy's probably going to get killed in like two hits. 
I'm gonna say two hits. What do you guys think? What do you say, chat? All right, so here. So now we can take off this, take off this. So now let's put on you. 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 Okay. Sorry. Uh, let's wear Malakas, Fire Prelates, and Malakas. Could wear these. How does that look? Eh, looks kind of tacky. Pull out the weapon. I'm going to leave the boluses on for now. Throw out the Dung Eater. Cool. Let's throw this dagger back on. Gives a little extra attack boost. I got to make sure I kill him in two hits now, so. <laughs> I need to change up my physic. I don't like it. Okay. And now we can go fight him. Ooh. Get rid of the dagger. There's one hit. Two hits. I called it. I called it. Two hits. Yeah, this this build has a crazy DPS potential. It's just if you can hit it. I mean, you guys can see now my rot bar, what that's looking like. It's not, not as uh, sexy as it once was. Uh, he did drop the Dragon Scale Blade. Uh, that was patched. Uh, not patched. Buffed in patch 1.07, I believe, when they did the big patch of, like, buffing damn near everything. Um, so now it's actually pretty damn good. They increased basically all the damage on it. And if that's something you guys are into, some, you know, Lightning Frost damage... Um, I highly suggest using it. It's not a bad weapon. I do think it falls behind the other katanas due to um, it not having any bleed, but still, it is fantastic. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I believe this is where I want to start from. I gotta scroll up a little bit. Yeah, this is where I want to start. So that's what we're gonna do. Don't know why I thought there was some loot over there. I miss having fire. Personally, I like incantations more than spells. And I miss my fire spells. Oh well. Okay, where are these guys at? Have they already passed me? They have. Oh, he turned around right at the perfect time. Dang, I thought I was in the clear zone. How did you not die, bro? We both missed. That's fine with me. Please don't get me. Okay, let's go kill this dude now. Okay, one more left. And this is why we kept on the propoluses, just to be safe. Let's see how much damage this does now. 867. How did I get a power increase from that? It seemed like it gave me a power increase. 813 with Flame Grant Me Strength on. I'm going to let, let it run off real quick. Okay, so we are looking at 713. 813. Nine oh six, not bad at all, if you ask me. 
So we just want to wait for the rumbling. Come on. I'm trying not to take too much damage, but... Oh, and there's the biggins. Oh, bad dodge on my part. Alright, let's get it. God, bro, you hit me while I was already down. Oh, I was in mid roll. How did you get there? Oop, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. He almost killed me. Respect, my dude. Uh, that was a lot harder than it probably should have been. I just get so an I got antsy is not the right word, but I'm gonna use it. Um, but like, I just want to get the Ash of War off because I know how much damage it can do, but it ends up hurting me more than helping me. I need to wait for my. I gotta wait for the timing and get it right. <laughs> All right. On my dagger build, I tried using this dagger, but the AR for my, like I like I said, I was faith and ba faith and dex, kind of split it, and it's just the it didn't match with my build. The AR wasn't there. So, since we did use quite a bit of heals, once we take care of this and get all the loot, we're gonna rest at the grace just to get the blast bask back up, and then we're just gonna sprint through so we have full heals. Come on, Dung Eater, you can do this. I'm surprised. I usually get like a thousand pest glaives and I haven't got one. Okay, so we could go straight to Estelle. But like I said, I want to get up my... I want to get my flask back because I would have to use one. Now I'm at six. Six, three. Well, three is what I'm normally at, so. But yeah. Um, actually, we did get a bunch of summon upgrades. Let's do that. Let's make our guys stronger. Ooh. I don't have a five. That is rough. But we can fully upgrade you. Uh, Mimic will come after. Let's see if I can throw upgrades into my hammer as well. Can upgrade you. Eight, nine. I can upgrade Radon's bow as well. Can't upgrade that. I need threes. Oop, I passed the hammer. Where are you at? There we go. Plus 21. Not bad. Um, we are also going to upgrade my other bow. Where's that? Uh, oh, it would be under here. Now we got some damage into that. There we go. That's going to help us out. Um, yeah, let's level up. Okay, back to the lake or the Grand, Clo Grand Cloister. 
honestly, I could have just saved that. Ah, no, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say we could save, could have saved that ruin and used one of the boss remembrances, but I guess I'd much rather save the remembrances than one Lord ruin. Okay. <laughs> We do have some time to kill, because I want those guys to go past. So how are y'all doing? Some cool looking armor. I wish the gold popped better in the dark, because it pops very well in the light, but the dark, not so much. So if I drop now, I think it aggros them. Maybe not. Okay. Yep. Good thing I remembered about those upgrades, because running in with the plus five or was it a plus six summon would have hurt me. It wouldn't have hurt me, but it's much better having a stronger summon. <clears throat> Okay, take those off, put these on. Alrighty, so Estelle, I'm sure plenty of you have fought him, he's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I'm going to try to buff up now, but it's probably all going to be worn off by the time I get to him. But, hey, see what happens. So we're not going to start out by summoning. We're going to get a little closer because of this damn laser. And as long as he's not about to shoot another laser at me. And he is. It's okay. I dodged it. And tail slam. Dodge. He's coming with one more. But I'm already too far ahead. You want the face hits if you can. Um, arms is not the... How, bro? I was, like, in front of you. I probably should have threw on a hammer. Waves of darkness. Ah, my roll timing was off. Oh, watch out, roll. Roll. Even though he, you weren't caught in it, you still don't want to be in it. Nebula. Alright, he's tele... No, he's not teleporting. How did I miss that? He's teleporting. Uh, you want to be careful where he teleports because he will grab you um, in some teleports. Alright, let's see if I can get him. I did get him, but he tried grabbing me as well. He's... Oh, I was stuck in the animation. But yeah, he will teleport behind you and try grabbing you, so you just want to be careful. Okay, here. Just roll. Just roll. 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 Great move to have. Great move not to, to be used against. Trying to get him to... Cr uh, not crits. I'm trying to stance break him, but... Not really working too well. Oh, he's going to grab him. Yep. I don't think I can hit him right now. Yep. <sighs> Bro, his head just moves so fast. It's like it's hard to get an actual lock on his head. Oh, good hit. And since I was quick enough, I get the extra ruins for doing that. Um, Estelle, mmm. Alright, now we gotta find this grace. It's all the way over here. Uh, after this, we are going to Renala to grab the key to unlock that door. Renala. Should I respect, do a whole different build? It's just my poison build, right? I wanted to put poison moth flight 
on the beast man's great curve sword or whatever things called but it won't won't i can't use it on that weapon so like my poison build idea because basically i wanted to use the serpent or the coil shield which scales with strength um so it scales with strength, so I wanted a strength scaling weapon, so I would uh, I would have done strength arcane. And poison and moth flight, I've always been interested in using it. So I would have put strength. Um, oh, I can't talk. Strength arcane with the poison, and then the coil shield. Strength, and I would have been a poison god. But I can't do it. Alright. So I'm not running through this area right now. Um, it's it's pretty high level. This is pretty late game stuff. But I am going to fight the dragon. I'm debating though. Um, if I should. Because. Oof. Flaming strike. <laughs> I'm debating. I could try to upgrade these and maybe go bleed dance. You know what? Screw it. We'll just rock what we've been rocking. See what happens. So first we're going to skip over him. Just run right past him. Go to this building. Grab the grace. All that good stuff. And grab all the starlight shards. I literally was stuck. I couldn't jump out of that position. Um, if you have the Bolt of Grand Sex, this fight's going to be easy. If you have the Envoy's Longhorn, this fight's going to be very easy. Okie dokie. So let's get up to him first. Uh, he does drop 120k ruins. So that's something to look forward to. Alright, he's already half health, so that's good. Oh, he's running. What are you doing, bro? I can't see you! Ooh, and I stand sprayed him? Oh, he's dead. He's so dead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh! Hurry! So, instead of 120, I get 144. I could have upped that with... Uh, gold pickle foul foot, but three dragon hearts, not too shabby. I might be getting some new dragon spells.
strength is now outscaling Arcane 691, 692. But uh, I get this to 40, 50, and then I could get this to, if I stick at 150, this to about 45. But I do want more Vigor. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Arcane. And we're just going to get another level real quick because we're right there. Yeah, so we'll be at 50 here. 694. 694. Okay, what's my... I'm at 717. Okay, now let's go speak to Rane. I will become your consort, Ronnie. Consort Eternal. I might give her the m ring and make her my consort. She used the Figure Slayer Blade to kill her two fingers because she's an Empyrean. And this is also Blythe is her shadow, so he's supposed to kill her if she tries to betray the two fingers, and that's why he becomes hostile, and we have to put his ass down. So let's talk to her and get the Dark Rude Greatsword that I will not use. So I don't know how true this is, but I heard that the English translation of Ronnie's uh, end statement, if you choose her ending, is different. Ooh. I've never been down here. Oh, this is just where you go from. Okay, let's see what I'm doing next. Okay, yep, this is what we're doing. So we're going to Ronnie's Rise. And I'm also going to explain a little bit of Nefeli's quest line. So what you would have done at this point is you would have um, given her the potion. So she would have been out of it. And you would have done everything I did. So you would have done, you know, gone to Selvis. You know, you would have chose to either get the magic scorpion charm or not. All that good stuff. Um... And then I'll show you how to finish it out because how I bought the Dung Eater from Selvis, that's not how you would get Nefeli. So I'll show you how you do that. So since we have the advantage right now, we're totally going to use it. Look, Black Knife Assassins. Since we had the opportunity to get the first hit, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to take it. And now we can get all Blyde's armor. And it's greatsword, and we can be blithe now if we want. But look, he murked. I guess, what, he only had one? One black knife assassin? All right. So now we go to Selvis's tower. And if you were trying to wait to get Dung Eater, you're out of luck. I missed the jump, but well. Blythe is a hard fight. I just kind of got lucky. So we'll get that. And if you messed up, you can always examine this and get um, a puppet if you forgot to get one. I think. And now we're going to... I think his name's Peta. So this is what you do. So you would do all those steps. You would grab all that. But next, you would have to come down here to Peta. You can hear him. Ah. Please. My puppets, I love you. So even if you get down there before he finishes talking, he's still dead. See? But now, you would go to him, and you would pick up, instead of Dolores the Sleeping Arrow Puppet, you would buy him from Selvis, and that would be Nefeli. And that's how you would get Nefeli. 
Okay. Now to finish out EG. Okay. Have you heard along that it would not as lead you? Okay, supplies death. Um, do I need any of this? I do not. Alright, let's rest. And now EG is dead. And there's an, some more... See, it took a lot more Black Knife Assassins for him. But he ended up getting killed by them. So you got one, two, and three. And so I'm going to turn in my ball bearings real quick. And now Ronnie's quest line is over. I'm just going to turn all these in real quick. And so now I can go through, buy what I need, if I need any of it. And this is why you want to do his quest line so you can get this boiled crab because they're actually pretty damn good. Peta, I've already bought most of his stuff. Don't really need much of it. Main things is ritual parts, unless you'll do larval tier and this if you want the cold bone arrows. So let's see, I got one, two, just one, two. But then we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. I also need a five, I believe. Let's see. For the mimic, I wonder if it's ghost or grave, I forget. Is it ghost or grave? Ah, it's ghost. Ooh, I need money. Uh, is 15k gonna be enough? I don't think so. Ten. And I can do Black Knife Tish all the way. So now I can choose between either one depending on the situation. Okay. So first we are going to go to the Village of the Albanerics because I forgot a skill. Indominal Vow, I think. Okay, and we're just going to run straight east. And I think to end, um, you know, we've been streaming for two hours, 30 minutes. I want to keep going, but it's also 1 a.m. and your boy is tired. So I'm thinking it's about that time. It, Vow of the Indomitable. What's this one? Because there's this one good one. Ah, uh, Vow of the Indomitable. Momentary Invincibility. So kind of like Raptors of the Mist. That's not the one I was thinking of. I want the... Um, it's usable on Great Shields. What's it called? Basically, you put it on a Great Shield and it'll heal you while you're in it. And I wonder, does this still have... The same poise damage. <laughs> I wonder if it still has all that. Okay. So you know what we're going to do? We are going to... Uh... So this weapon isn't going to be good for invasions, but... I want to try out Invasion. 13,000 if I lose. Uh, Duelist, Bloody. Oh, do I not have it? Do I not have the Invasion stuff? Yes, I do. Both near and far. 
see if I can get an evasion to wrap up this. But we don't want to be using this. We're going to be using this. 647. I'm going to use the bonk stick because what do you see this, right? So you throw some fire out and then wham! So good at roll catching. Um, honestly, my my ideal PvP build is two Guardian Sword Spears. One with Flaming Strike and then one with uh, Trolls not trolls roar, beast roar. The one where you go bra and it shoots out your uh, roar and does some damage for some long range attacks. Put this, so we're at what? 689, right? But this is fire and everything. 827? 802? 987. So that's what we're doing. Oh no! Invading another world. Could <laughs> do it before they all swarm me. Here we go. So let's try to get this in, and then I'm thinking it's about time to call the quits for the night. Oh, hey, I win! I won! <laughs> Yay! Try that one more time. Nope, oh, wrong, wrong one. Which one is it? Bloody finger. So what you can get the what? Bloody finger and festering finger, I believe. Maybe I'll have people invade me and cheese them. You know, go hide somewhere where they can't get me. AFK farm. Be that. Be that asshole. Ooh, what do we got? The host of the fans. Oh, they're fighting the boss. What is going on, guys? Alright. Try it one more time. See what happens. Oh, I should probably... I wonder if I've honed Bolt yet. We are invading another world. I guess I can just let it wait. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we're actually going to be able to fight somebody. I did have one time, I had some AFK, oh, I can't use it, that's disappointing. Um, some AFK farmers, and he had, oh, and I'm heavy load, shit, there we go. Oh, I was just about to drop them a Lord's Ruin, too. If they would just give me a damn second and let me do it. Ah, oh, too, too close. Got him. Let's regroup. I was going to drop them a Lord's Room, but they just wanted to come get the smoke right off rip. Can I use... Ah, they put me right there. <laughs> hey. Hey. Alright, let's give it another shot. Oh, and I got... Oh no, I'm not stuck. We got a sorcerer and a melee, bro. Ah, come on, bro. Stars of Ruin. Not a bad. Hee hee hee. Alright. Can't do it win by being a puss bag, right? This person's cancer, bro. 
just a bunch of tracking spells. Ah, oh, what am I supposed to do? I honestly, I don't know what to do. And I can't use my dragon breath. Oh, good hit, brother. Just when I was getting into it, too. Hey, I killed one of them, right? I killed one of them. He was too focused on me, didn't see frickin' Mimic Bro coming up to murk him. That, that, I won't count that one because I didn't do anything. It was just a bad situation, you know? Bad situation because person had just tracking spell after tracking spell on me and it was hard to, you know, get in there because it's like... Ooh, magma, bro. So I see him. Right? Hey! Oh, there's his friend. Kind of looks like Sasuke. And there's goes the magma worm. Oh, and there's another person. Go get him, Magma Worm. Go get him. Go get him. Yep. Yep, I'm not dumb. I see your Moog Sacred Spear. I just need to kill you, bro. But without falling off. Yep, I've dueled against people like you before. I'm not dumb. Oh no! Stupid frostbite, you dick. Oh, I probably could have ended her right there. Oh, come on. Heal up. Uh, no. <laughs> Took out one of them at least. I took some damage, but that's fine. Don't kill me, 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 don't kill me. Woo! Alright, I got this dude. Gotcha. Death. Death comes for you. And there we go, guys. A true invasion moment. I'm going to call that quits for the night. I uh, thank everybody for coming. Um, checking me out. Um, yeah, I'm not good with intros, outros. So I guess I'll leave it at that. Um, if you enjoyed, I would really appreciate if you guys could subscribe. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment. I'm starting out new. As you can probably see, so every little bit of uh, support helps. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the content. I know Elden Ring's kind of old, and you know it's kind of out of its prime. But with DLC coming up, I'm hyped for it. Um, I'm still obsessed with this game. I have a th over a thousand hours. You know, <clears throat> I um, got my platinum, all that good stuff, and I just I love you know the build making and whatnot. So I'm going to keep playing it. I'm just going to play whatever game I feel like it. But I hope you guys are enjoying the content and all that stuff. So again, if you enjoyed, please like, follow, subscribe. And I hope all of you all have a wonderful night. And as always, stay frosty.